Hey, what is up? What is up? You pop on, tell me, hey, let me know you're here. Let me get my cart lake pin pinned. So how's everybody doing? It is Sunday. Okay, here I am. Oops, let's be quiet. Be quiet, Becky. We don't want to listen to you. Paste, enter. Hello, Miss Jackie. How's it going? Let me get that pinned to the top. So tonight we're going to do a couple of projects. I love how this sometimes pins to the top really easy and sometimes I have to work on it. Okay, I've got the supplies pinned to the top. Now, what I pinned to the top is going to be supplies that we're going to use for our next virtual craft night. That's going to be on the 24th of March. So in order to get all your goodies in, um, in time for that next craft night, you need to go ahead and order that today. Okay, order that tonight. Um, or tomorrow at the latest, because that's going to be pushing it. Okay, so our next virtual craft night is going to be using this cute little guy right here. Time to eat. He comes with a cutting board. He comes with two face singles and a squeegee. So that is going to be what's below in that cart link for that next virtual craft night. So that's going to be the 24th of March at 6 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, 7 o'clock Central. Me and my team gets together and we do a craft together. And why not? Let's all get together and we craft at the same time. Won't that be fun? So this is what that looks like. This is all the goodies. It's um, $22.36 for the kit. So you get the transfer, the cutting board, the two paste singles, that's in current jam, and what's that? Pesto. Looks like pesto and your squeegee. So you're getting that for 20% off. So that is a wonderful deal. Go ahead and get that ordered. Like I said, the cart link is below. And join us on our next virtual craft night. So tonight I'm not going to be doing it on the cutting board. We're going to do a little spin on it. Earlier today I done a um, Facebook party. We used this little guy, but we used it on our board and base. And you know what? We've got this brand new board and base that's in white. So let's create on him tonight for our version of it. Not the virtual craft night because that's later on, but we're going to create on it on this board and base. Now he's two-sided, so we created on him the other day. I came, I saw, I forgot what I was doing. So we're going to start off with that and then we're going to jump over to our next project. Everything is going to be farmhouse related tonight. So as you can tell, these transfers are reusable. I've already used this one for the party earlier today. So this will be the second time this bad boy has been used today. Love that saying. This is such a great saying for a kitchen. Some kitchen decor and he would look so fabulous on this whiteboard and base, but he would look really cute on that cutting board as well. And if you kind of like the way I'm going to put them together tonight and you want to participate in that virtual um, craft night, you can also throw in a black paste single. It's like two bucks. I think it's two bucks and some change to throw in a black paste single. Or you can use the two colors that comes in your kit. Totally up to you. So I've got him on our white board. And we're going to do a couple of colors. Now, I don't have pesto open, but I do have a meadow. And I, did, I know the other day, um, someone was inquiring on how can you reuse these paste singles. Now, this we, we, we used, I don't know, what, a couple of weeks ago? Maybe three weeks ago. So, it's still wet down here. This part has dried up here because, remember, when we were done, we just kind of sealed it at the top and we let it dry. I set it upright so all the paste stays at the bottom. So, you got to mend it again. Just to mix it up. Of course, make some big bad scissors. 
And we're just going to snip that dried part off. I'm going to snip it off the same way I had it snipped earlier, just so I can get into it. I'm not going to need a whole lot. I just need a little bit of green here and here and here, very little. So I think I'm just going to kind of squirt me out some. Everyone see what I'm doing? It's easier for me to come back and add to than you know I can't take away. If I can't get him, I'm not good enough to get him back into that pack. You might be able to be good enough to get him into the pack, but I'm not. I'm just going to put it here on the green. So is this our first Sunday in March? I don't know. I don't know if it is. You know what? I'm feeling like I want to put some green up here at the top. I didn't do that at that last one I made earlier today, but I'm feeling it today. Let's do it right there. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're just going to peel it back just to kind of release that green out of there. When you're changing colors, this is always the safest way to do it. Because you're not going to want your paste to dry in your transfer. So no paste drying in transfer. Now, if you move super fast, you may you can make and skip right over that part. But if you're not sure, better to just go ahead and pull it up. So you know for a fact it's not going to. Now, I'm going to do this next part in black. Just because you know I love black and white. Black and white is priceless. Now, of course, you know, we've got the stars that are available now. So if anybody ever wants to throw me some stars, you know, feel feel, feel like you can send me some. That's fine. I'm not, not going to get upset about it one bit. If you don't want to send me any stars, give me some likes and some loves. How about some hearts? I'm about out of my black. Oh, 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 oh. So I have been a busy, busy, busy bee today. I've got three Facebook parties going on. I've got a virtual multiple vendor event going on. I've done an in-person live a little bit earlier today. Now I'm with you guys. My husband has gotten a large fish tank that I've been trying to paint, trying to get that finished. Still need to get my taxes done. Never ending. And of course, tomorrow is time to get back to work, right? Where's the weekend gone? gone 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 okay we're going to peel this back just to release it out of the transfer again now we're going to move on to this tomato now the tomato is going to come with current jam and i actually did find a current jam that i had opened here that way i was thinking about using but we're going to use candy apple red because on my next project that we're doing i want candy apple red so we're going to use candy apple red for this too I think I might need to put a little water in here. So your paste needs to be the consistency of like Greek yogurt. And you know, the longer you leave the lids open, the faster they dry out. I don't know if this is the new formula or the old formula. But if it's the new formula, it's beginning to look a lot like the old formula. So it's getting a little dry. So you just add distilled water in it to kind of bring it back to life. Okay, there we go. Time to eat with our cute little tomato on our white board and base. So what do you think about this white board and base? Are you loving it? Are you feeling the white board to kind of go with our black board? Where's our black one at? Oh, I didn't do it on the board and base today. I did it on the spinning bistro board. That's what I did it on for that party earlier. So this is what it looks like on the black board. And then here it is on the white board. Oh, 
look at there. Super cute, right? So there you go. That is this fun little project. Now remember, you can grab him if you want to participate in our next virtual craft night. And you can get him and the cutting board, two paste singles, and a squeegee for, was it 20 22.33, I think is the 20% off. 22.36. I've got that pinned in the very top comment. So that's all the goodies that you get in the Try Me kit. And that's going to be what we're creating on the 24th of March. If you want to participate with us, make sure you grab that tonight or tomorrow at the latest so you can get it in in time for that virtual party. So now we're going to move on to project number two. As I told you, it's farmhouse inspired tonight. So I got my club couture in. We all know what the club is, right? That's the big bad club that you can get an exclusive transfer once a month. It's $19.99 per month to be a club member. You get an exclusive transfer. Three pay singles comes delivered free to your home. And then you get to partake in all the club deals and specials, flat rate shipping, all that fun stuff. Y'all want to see what it is? Look what that is. Look, that's why I wanted the red for that cute farmhouse. We've got home sweet home. We've got a cute little windmill. Farm fresh, fresh, simply blessed and eat local. Look at this cute little transfer. That is the club transfer. Only club members can get this. So if you want this transfer, jump over, become a club member, grab it. You do need to commit to at least three months with our club. But you also can qualify for our club um, deal for this month. It's 50% off a bunny transfer. And that's um, a 12 by 18 bunny that you get half off. So I've already cut this a little bit, just to try to help us out a little bit. I'm going to show you. I know I showed you this trick the other day. I don't know, about a month ago, and it was just too tedious for me to do. But some of my uplines are cutting these transfers without actually cutting through the back because then it's harder to put together. So I watched how they done it. They kind of got it started, and then they just kind of drug the scissors. It has to be our transfer trimmers. You're not really cutting. Did you see I didn't really cut? I just drug the scissors right through there. So these transfer trimmers are awesome. So then it's easier for you to put it on the backing paper instead of all these little bits and pieces we would have ended up if I hadn't done it this way. So let's get this other one cut. So I've already done it this way. So this should be my last piece. I'm just gonna get it started. And then I'm just gonna drag might not work too good over here. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we won't drag my scissors this time. I think we're too close to the edge. Okay, and I'm going to use, I think, just these pieces here. I don't think I'm going to be using these pieces. We'll see, but I definitely know I'm going to use these. These are, are for sure. And I think I'm going to put it on our um, palette sign because I wanted it farmhousey. So this is our 9 by 12 palette sign. So he's got that nice little rib on the back of it so he can sit up on the countertop. So he's got like that wood where you've got three pieces of wood kind of nailed together. It's a cute little farmhouse style. Now you could take a sanding block and you could distress the sides on this and give it more of a rustic feel if you want to. We're just going to go with it tonight. We're going to go with it. Let's figure out how we're going to do this. Let's figure it out. Is it going to be really too big for this? Do we need smaller pieces and parts? So we know we want the barn. Let's fuzz this bad boy. Now, I did not wax. I do recommend waxing on wood. If you don't wax, make sure you're fuzzing your transfer three to four times. Just say you're making sure he's not sticky. So that's four times for him. Let's figure out where we're going to put him. He's a barn, so he needs to be somewhere kind of close to the bottom. We're 
going to want the home sweet home. Now, I know when I pull this up in the catalog, um, I think it had it on two different surfaces. I think it had it on like our 5x5 five five board. There were small surfaces. And I'm like, no, I'm going to put it all on the same surface. We'll see how this looks. How's everybody doing today? Did y'all have a good day? It was a nice day here. It's beautiful outside. I've got a lot of pollen. It's been really affecting my allergies. Saw a couple of honeybees and a couple of wasps. So we're already getting some flying critters. Spring is definitely in the air. So what do you think? Do we like that? It's been wet and nasty there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what do you think? You think maybe we need some greenery over here? Or do we need like maybe eat local? What do you think for this side? Do we need something over the barn? And if so, what do we need? We've got the greenery, we've got Eat Local. I don't know if I'm really feeling the farm fresh or the Simply Blessed over there. What do you think? What do you think? While you are thinking, I think I'm going to start chalking. I'm gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk, I'm gonna chalk something. Greenery. Okay, Patty says greenery. Anybody else wants to throw in their two cents? I'm kind of wondering. Maybe we could do home suite up here. We could do the barn here, maybe in the center. <clears throat> and we could do like H-O-M-E across the bottom. What do you think about that? So, H-O-M-E across the bottom. Or do you like it better the way it was? Should we just go back to the way it was? I think if we do it this way, we're probably going to need to turn it. Maybe this way. Do H O M E. Which way do you like it better? First way or second way? First way was the way we started, and then second way is where I'm at now. Okay, it'll fit. It'll fit this way. So, which way do you like it? Okay, Jackie likes it this way. Anybody else? Patty says second way, okay. Looks like we're liking this way better. I'm glad I didn't chalk that barn. <laughs> Otherwise, we would be committed to the way we were. Okay, well, the barn's going to be red. And then we're going to do all the words, I think, in black. Really need to add some water to this. So this is the way my paste is looking. See, so I'm kind of at the bottom, so I'm hitting the bottom of the barrel. So I just add some distilled water in there, and then I'm just going to stir it up. Because you want it the consistency of Greek yogurt. Normally, you don't really have to worry about it because it's so super creamy, dreamy. 
But you know, the longer you leave the lid off of it, the faster it dries out. So that looks better. I'm liking that better. So who is loving this transfer? Who is loving it? 1999 to be a club member. Awesome deals. So in the month of March, you become a club member, you get this incredible transfer, and then you can grab a bunny transfer for half off. Half off for the bunnies. Going back over it, grabbing that excess. Time to peel and reveal. Now, when you're dealing with wood, you want to make sure you don't have anything on your fingers because you don't want, you don't want to transfer it to your wood because you know wood is porous. It's like one and done. It's not a reusable surface. That's why waxing is a safer bet to go. You're more forgiving if you wax. I'm feeling, um, feeling brave tonight. I've been feeling brave a lot lately, haven't I? I have been. Need my finger. Do I have a little wipe somewhere? I think we're going to jump down here to the home because we're going to have to do this in bits and pieces on the home. Right on my finger. I got to figure out my centering. Ooh, and I don't want to get that on my house because my house is still wet. Okay. I'm going to do the HO and he'll let that dry a little bit and then we'll do the ME. So see how we're taking this transfer and we're kind of making it our own? Making our own. Do I have any local peeps watching me today? Is there anybody in Crestview, Florida area? I am working out the details of trying to um, start back up some in-person workshops. So if you are local listening and that sounds incredible to you and you want to get the details on an in-person workshop, drop workshop below in the comments. Workshop below in the comments. Got a meeting on Tuesday with a local business, and we're going to see if we can make it happen. Peel this back. So that's just the HO. And let that dry a little bit. So this is where we're at. HO. Let's bounce up here to the home suite. It's almost like my black's gonna need a little water in it too. Getting to the bottom of all of these jars. Home sweet. Remember, these transfers are reusable, so I can get 8 to 12 uses out of this. I can see me using this guy a lot. A lot. Okay, let's help this home in this um, barn a little bit out so I can move on to this other part. long 
just want to make sure that it's dry because my other piece may come back. Oh, that's still wet. May come back pure a little bit on this house, and I don't want it to peel that up. transfer fell on the floor. Make sure he doesn't have any overly fuzz on him. And I think for safe measures, let's take another backing paper. Just because I got black on this one, I don't want it to transfer because this is wood. Let's figuring out our centering here. I have a ruler back here. Okay, let's hope that's good since I'm eyeballing it. might not hurt if you do this to kind of draw a little line on the bottom of it with a pencil or something or get you some masking tape or something to kind of line you up so you're not eyeballing it like I am. Okay, let's do our M-E. Every time I use this black lately, I am just getting so dirty with it. I need to start using my multi-tool so it goes deeper in there without my fingers having to go in there. Look how dirty I'm getting. Clean my fingers. What do you think? Do you like it? Home sweet home. So what do you think now? You think we need to throw some greenery on the side of it? Or do we like it the way it is? Do we want to throw greenery maybe on both sides? So what do you think? Greenery on both sides of the barn or leave it alone? Patty likes it. Looks like my home at the bottom, I lined that up pretty good. I was eyeballing it. Okay, yes to, yes to what? Yes to leave it alone or yes to add some greenery on the side of the barn? <laughs> yes to what? Yes to what? We're going to throw greenery on it. Okay. Carla says yes for greenery. Anybody else? It's the easiest way to cut this bad boy out. Now tonight I didn't cut um, my transfer out with the backing behind it like I normally do. If you use the transfer trimmers, it doesn't stick to the sticky because these are silicone based. So I'm able to cut my transfer apart and leave the backing paper whole. So when I clean it, I can stick it all back on here the way it came. So it just makes it easier to keep all your pieces all together. Or you can do like I end up doing and you can buy some backing paper some backers and then when you cut them all apart and you wash them then you can stick them on the the whole backer sheets. I do that a lot. 
Right, we've done some fuzzing, so we're going to throw our greenery. Figure out if I want to go up and down. We've already got our green we used earlier, so we'll just use it. And these are the little paste packets. So if you join us on the next virtual craft night, then your supplies are going to come in these little paste packets. You can get quite a few projects out of these little guys. But you don't need a whole lot. We used this, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. We played around with this little paste packet. I didn't have this color green, so I had to open it. Well, let's put some green out here. Okay, now we got some green. I'm going to try to do both of these sides without having to wash this transfer so I don't want my paste to dry in that transfer if you're wanting to do what I'm doing here. So I'm going to quickly pull it up and then we're going to figure out how we're going to put it down over here. Now I got to be careful when I put it down because it's still got green on it so it'll transfer it over. So you kind of have to kind of figure out where you're going to go with it and just go with it because once it's down it's a done deal. Unless you're dealing with a chalkboard, and then if you don't like it, you can always erase it. But we're not dealing with a chalkboard tonight. We're dealing with a palette board. So you can use these transfers on every anything. I almost got out a galvanized piece of um, tin. I thought this would be cute on that. But I went to this instead. But this would be super cute on a piece of um, galvanized tin, don't you think? Don't you think? So we added some little greenery. Okay, guys. So this is our March Club Couture Transfer. Home Sweet Home. It also comes with some additional other wording that you could use. Farm Fresh, Simply Blessed, Eat Local. You like that? And then, of course, you got the little windmill. You could actually take that windmill and substitute that for the O. So instead of putting the O on there, you could put that little windmill for that O. That would be super cute, don't you think? So this is our um, Club Couture March Transfer. It's only exclusively, exclusively for our club members. So you'd have to join the club to get this transfer. Um, once a club member, our March special for club members is half off our bunny transfer. So that's a cute little deal. And um, I started below with the link to get the supplies for our next virtual craft night, which is going to be the 24th of March. If you'd like to join me and my team online and I'll create at the same time. So instead of you hopping on here and watching me create, you'd have all the supplies that you can create alongside. Wouldn't that be like super fun? Super fun. So this is the transfer. It's not the uh, the setup, but the transfer time to eat is going to be that next virtual craft night, the 24th of March. You do need to grab the supplies today is what's recommended. Tomorrow you might can get by with doing it, but I wouldn't go past tomorrow. This is what comes in that kit. So you get a cutting board instead of that white surface. A cutting board, the transfer, two paste singles, the um, current jam, which is like a um, more like a burgundy. A green and a squeegee, and then that is $22.36. That's 20% off. That's a try me kit. You can grab that. That link is below. That first comment below, you can grab that. And hang out with us on the next virtual craft night. Or you can use that same link. And then at the very top, click on Club Couture instead of where you're at. And just kind of go out of it. It has the top of my page. Find Club Couture, and you can join that club. And then you'll get this transfer sent to you. Um, and we need a sprinkle word, don't we? A sprinkle word. 
sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Our sprinkle word tonight is going to be home sweet home. Home sweet home is our sprinkle word tonight. You can sprinkle once per day. So you can come back tomorrow and sprinkle again. And then the next day, all the way until Wednesday, Wednesday, 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time, that ends this contest, this little game I play. You can also go back to Wednesday nights live. Of course, it's a replay now. Watch it. Grab the sprinkle word from Wednesday night, and you can sprinkle that the same time you're sprinkling this one and get more times into the pot. Because I play the game, the more time you sprinkle, the more times your name gets into the hat, right, for a drawing. Okay, guys, I will see you guys later. Y'all have a fantastic night, and take care. If you have any questions, throw them below. Love to answer them for you.